Hey guys, it's now after one and I'm currently in Mandeville. I should be doing my x-ray today and that's in Santa Cruz. So I'm heading to Santa Cruz now and it's raining. I don't know if no well, you can't tell. So I'm making my way down to go do my x-ray. But first, let us pray. I know I'm already on the road but I didn't make a video so I'm going to make it now. I'm going to pray for those who need it. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, as I come to you another time today, Lord, I want to pray for your protection on the road. I want to thank you for your blessing, your mercies. I want to thank you for all you've been doing, for your provision, Lord, for the spirit that you place in us to give us a healthy mind, to stay focused, and not to be wavered in our thoughts, Lord. Thank you for all these things. In your wonderful name I pray. Amen. So, let me take my time off this hill. I was hoping to go into the town, but my number are going to no town. Take time, come down. Taking my time down. Before this rain gets any heavier. Come on, give me a break. I want to pass. Seriously. I've been parked here so long. But then I'll let, all right, if you don't have to let me out, then I'm going to have to take it. Start making some longer videos because I'm looking one second of here now. Well, not literally one second, but them two shots. I'm gonna try to make some longer videos so you can you guys can get some good content as to what has been happening. So stick around for that. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas.
to take care of yourself. That's the best advice I can give to anyone. Once you suffer an injury on the job, just go take care of yourself. Take the time you need to recuperate because you go and find the work but you are worth to make money so you can save money while you're injured you now make your injury no better only making it worse and when that time for you, or when the injury gets so bad that you can no longer bear it and that time for you now seek treatment you look at savings where you have can cover the expense that is what is not happening to me because I have sit down with this injury I've been working through it when it acts upon me, it's a back injury. When it acts upon me, I don't have go to work the same way. Take me time according to me. I'm not going to push myself too hard. But I'm still using my back. I'm still lifting things, heavy items, or whether they be light, because me, I take me time. And I just one or two, me, I lift up. So the back still at work, it's still being aggravated, and it's getting worse. Now we reach to the point now where the injury is. You know what's a severe, but it's so bad. Where I'm sitting now, I hope I remember today to get a pillow. I am sitting now because I'm driving. And I drive with my right leg. I'm a right leg I got numb. That's pinch nerve. So I can't sit down too long. Because me, I will start feeling it in my leg. And if I stand up too long, I have the same problem. Because the pressure comes no more on the leg. <laughs> so I end up with six and one, half dozen, the same problem. So my advice to anyone in my position, when they just get the injury, or it's now, it's an act of you know. But take some time out because it don't make no sense. You can't save the money you need. Well, me can't save the money I need because my doctor tell me about surgery if the x ray come back in a certain condition. Where me if you get surgery money from? Me have to go sell my car and then start so taking taxi. And everybody know taxi life no nice. But the motel if you sit out and squeeze up on all of them something. But I know that may have So just go take the time I need. And I think I'm going to do that because you know see where the back are getting no better. The items that I lift are some of them may tell us super heavy. They're heavy. And it's not a case that I'm not strong enough upper body strength to do. It's a case where the back I get weaker and weaker by lifting lifting these items. And some persons would say, you're yeah, lifting incorrectly. Don't let me come to you. Some of the working conditions that I work in you can't lift properly. It's as simple as that. How the items are placed Sometimes you, you have to set sideways. You're setting physically sideways, walking sideways like a crab. And you have to hold the heavy item on your head sideways. Seriously? Lift properly how? You want to take up another item, you have to bend all the way over, stretch over to get it up. You can't lift with your knees. Your back and your hand alone, you can't use to lift that. I just say lift them down from lift down the ones at the front so you can get to the one at the back. A whole year something like that. Majority of the time, a whole heap of items pack up in front of it. And you just want one single something over the back. You now it makes sense to lift all of them. But at the end of the day, you're not gonna make no money. And it all comes back to the money. You're working to make the money at the same time. You have much of yourself and I'm gonna spend the money where you are. It's just now the matter.
Max, no Max. Can you work to save the money? And when you save the money, you mash up your you end up spending the money because you mash up yourself. You see what I'm saying? So something about it, you just, you know, just take care of yourself. That's, that's the information, that's the message I have for some. Just take care of yourself. We all need the money, I know that. But at a certain point, we have to just, we just have to look out for ourselves. I don't know the little money when we start saving now. <laughs> start spending on. Doctor visit. I went to the doctor. The doctor said me go an x ray. No, for an x ray, back to the doctor. Three seconds. Uh, I may appear to get me not hear nothing about no surgery. The best thing I can hope for is some physiotherapy. I <laughs> will know that not she. I know there's damage done. I'm hoping that it is not a case where it cannot be fixed by doing some physiotherapy or something like that, some exercises, some professional exercises. Because if me go, ex well, may I try exercise and my tell the truth, it does you not know, feel like it will get no better. It does feel like me, I make it worse, so I'm not trying to push. So I'm just hoping that I do some professional therapist or some physiotherapy or something like that. I need. I am hoping. So I'm making my way to Santa Cruz, so keep you posted throughout the day. I hope I remember to get this pillow to support my back while driving. See you at Santa Cruz. So, I made it to Santa Cruz. I'm now walking to the x-ray place. What kind of gears about my foot? That's the permission we be doing and people in prison. Um, I wasn't particularly pleased with this experience. This room was too small for anyone to change in. Can you imagine if I was a person with more weight? The room was too small. It, I could have really taken off my pants, every shift and turn, I bump into the wall. So it was really too small, as you can see here. So you have to take your clothes off and put on this I don't know what they call it robe and I'm gonna be able to take off my pants 
But we are bumped into the water so being that is another one. So I wasn't pleased with this. I think we need to fill a bigger room or something. So we can have more space to take our clothes off and put our clothes on. I just completed my x-ray I could not make any video inside there <laughs> unfortunately so you will get to see all of that intricacy but I like hear some beep I hope the music did not play in that video yet because I don't want to be copyrighted but um I like hear some beep so when the picture take I'm presuming if I pictures them fall so now I'm hungry box me. I'm gonna get myself a plate of food. I'm gonna eat some. I'm gonna go home and go finish it. I'm not gonna be hungry after I'm on So I'm gonna eat some food and then head home. I love, uh, well, dinner time. So I hope you're having your dinner as well. Let's we'll see you when we finish, I guess. Oh, I'm gonna show you now. Fry rice. Oh, you've seen it. Fry rice, fried chicken, and sweet and sour gravy. I don't know what they use make the sweet and sour business there. No? But all uh, smell like cucumber. I don't mean, like cucumber. Yep, cucumber. <laughs> Jesus. They never have no more gravy. That's why I choose this something, in a man. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I know a cucumber. Well, you can't be the queen, eh? or what I'm calling one. Spoil my food, man. Anyways, I'm gonna bless it. I hope you don't do nothing to me. <laughs> I really don't like kukuba, but I'm gonna bless it and enjoy it nevertheless. Heavenly Father, as I'm about to enjoy my dinner, I pray that you bless it, allow it to bring nourishment to my body. And as for the kukuba that I cannot, you know, just help me not to taste it that much. Thank you. Amen. Let's dig in. Come on. I'll make you so sore. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. I'm going to go out here and go back. I'm going to
You know something mad? I'm not going to myself, God forbid. Look how I'm going to carry it back. Bang. Why am I going to tell you people now when I go? So, not think nobody want to watch me eat. So when we finish, I'll catch up back with you. Back with food no more. <laughs> so I made it home. Thank God. But I'm not feeling so well. I'm not sure. I think it's exhaustion. I'll probably wait for walking up and going to the home. I'm not sure, but I'm just not feeling well. So I'm going to take Setamol night and go get some rest. So, see you in my next video.